let's move on. We so got a little got baseball mad. update. We had Korean. What? What are you laughing about, Boomy? I, I, a guy no, can't I laugh. What the hell is like this? An idiot over there. Um, we got South. We got South. I, what? Okay. Yeah, we got South Korean nothing. Go baseball. Ahead. We've uh, talked about it here on the show. Uh, not this show, but our our. Uh, our podcast that we do, the typical Chicago fan podcast, uh, we had a uh, a friend of my uh, sister and brother in law that lives in South Korea, so he was kind of talking about the South Korean baseball, and we kind of got to see it. Um, it was Monday night um, when they had it. It was a midnight here, uh, and it was it was exciting. I mean, I didn't wa- stay up and watch it, but they kind of it's kind of got a minor league feel to it. Uh, there's some stuff going on in the stands and it, it seems like a, a good time. And they said, there's no fans, but they still have like entertainment in a way. Uh, and it's something that we get to watch. And, uh, I think ESPN kind of came to somewhat of a, I think there's like a deal where they're going to do like the playoffs and certain games for the South Korean baseball league, but it, it, it's something we can watch. That's the thing, man. It's live sports, you know, and in baseball, uh, Major League Baseball has per, or it will be proposing a plan by the end of the week um, to possibly start uh, spring training in mid-June with a season that possibly begins in uh, like July 1st is what they're aiming at. Um, but I think, like you said, with the Korean baseball, there are still some guys over there that I've, I know I've heard coach. names um, that they, yeah. Yeah, and even guys that have been like had you know different times in the majors, or you know even if you think about a guy like Eric Thames who went over there uh, a couple of years ago and obviously is still a, a big name in Major League Baseball. It's cool to kind of see those American guys, but obviously, like you said, just to see live sports is is really all we need right now. So I have I, I've DVR'd a few games because I'm obviously not going to stay up till three a.m. to watch. Um, but it, it is like you said, it's it's an escape and. It's a little bit return to normalcy for now. Yeah, it's great to have the highlights, especially when those guys had the best yeah. bat flips in all of baseball. Like, mm-hmm. if you put those guys in the MLB and they did those bat flips, like, those would be tweeted about, like, every 10 seconds. Like, those things are awesome. And I and I think, like you said, I mean, just a little bit of normalcy, having some baseball just to have, even if you just yeah. watch the highlights of it, just something yeah. to kind of keep an eye on. Yeah, there's some names you might recognize and some guys who might come later on in the MLB. But for now, it's just great to hopefully, have Hopefully something. we can get to that point. Right. That was a good com- uh, comparison, though, Zach, like comparing it to like an oh, upper-class yeah. minor league They're is, there to entertain. is uh, I think, a yeah. pretty good comparison. Definitely. And I, and I think this opens up the, the door, too, for the future. Let's say maybe the NBA next year is not start on time. Let's just say something like catastrophic happens mm-hmm. where some of this happens again. Maybe somewhere like in Greece or somewhere else in Europe, like – you have a league that's still going, maybe ESPN can continue to make these deals and show like, Hey, we can get more viewers for you guys. Like, and it gives you something. So it might open up a door too, for more of a, a worldwide with, thing uh, ESPN major league here. baseball. We oh, kind of heard that they were maybe going to be back sometime in May or like end of May uh, with like a spring training too, and kind of be back within June or July for games that kind of got uh, said that that's a rumor and that there's a plan coming out, hopefully in the next week, week and a half or so uh that will be a real plan for major league baseball uh we have the nfl schedule coming out tonight so that's big for uh for some live sports action in a way uh but major league baseball is still really up in the air to when spring training will come back because like i said those guys are going to need the time to get back into form and then get back to the regular season and how that's all going to work. So, like, it, it all seems like a good idea until you have to figure out, like, all the factors that go into it. All the guys that are going to have to leave their families and maybe be isolated. Like, I don't know. It's just going to be crazy how it all works out at, at first. Yeah, I think the players' oh, yeah. union is going to have a big role in this if and figuring willing, out how they're, willing to do all like, how they're actually going to make this happen. Yeah. There was a, a piece done today that um, had – gave a suggestion that they should allow players to opt out for the year if they so choose. Um, so we'll see if something like that yeah, uh, yeah. is like coming into play. It's, it's going to be weird. It'll be weird to yeah. see how it works, who will be the first of the four major lives, first of the four major sports to have a live game. Uh, we're thinking it's probably going to be baseball, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. It's all uh, – 
it's all just a, an idea, um, a thought, uh, just something that we all want to happen until we actually get news. Because we've heard so many different forms of baseball, football, basketball, hockey. Like We've heard so many different ideas that have been thrown out, but nothing has actually stuck to the wall. All it's all speculation for now. Uh, helping us out. We keep it keeps us going here over at TCF. We need we need more and more of that because we we just need news. That's all we need.